One thing that Vietnam is infamous for, the street food, the street culture, the sidewalk culture. And we have Cham with us today. Hi. And she's just gonna take us around Old Quarter Hanoi and we're just gonna eat some munchies. And when you're visiting Vietnam, I hope you get very excited for all the street munchies. So come with us, glad to have you with us, let's go. So one of the things that most Western people don't get to try here, because it's like kind of weird, is eel noodles. And it's deep fried eels that they have in noodles. It's kind of crunchy from what I've heard. I've never tried it and I have a couple friends that have tried to get me to try it. So today, we're gonna go try it. Night market in Hanoi, my first time. Excited. It's off Mon Mies in Saigon for six months, literally, and I've never seen this kind. Really? Never seen the stick skewer kind. They don't have this in Saigon. Bacon sandwich. Grumptious. Ah. So, I've been having all of this street food, and I'm dying to try some amazing street food. So. Follow me, here I'm gonna go get some right now. Smells like home. Bia Hanoi. And I oh, haven't had it in this bottle like this. Open, open. 20,000 for one of these. Yeah. Which is literally $1. But four times the price that, that you get from the keg. Cheers to Vietnam and Texas. One of the things I love about Vietnam, it's so chill. Drinking beer on the street. One of the things that's so chill about Vietnam is bring your beer, walk around anywhere. That's typical out in Southeast Asia. Actually, everywhere in Southeast Asia, you can walk on the street with your beer. Also, this bar over there has a big weed leaf so the, there's no taboo about ganza, which is the local name for it. Very easy and chill uh, attitude towards it, which is makes Vietnam so cool. Wait. That's better than the taro. It's so light and fluffy custard. It's like eating a cloud, eating a sweet cloud. We're on cloud nine, high on life out here in Southeast Asia. I got one of these uh, chocolate pudding puffs. Tastes scrumptious. Oh my God, that's the best. Riley, we fucked up. Chocolate. Chocolate was the best. That's Brandon, come here. We all party here hard for New Year's and we vlogged it. So if you haven't seen that vlog, click below and watch that next. It was a really fun night in, in Hanoi oh, yeah. and I want you to experience it with us. So this is the Bia Hoi that we drank at New Year's. We're now friends with the family. We played with the little kids. Let's go get some beer for 20 cents. <laughs> some beer for 20 cents. <laughs> Just so you know I was dying laughing when you said that. 
Yeah, no. Literally 5,000 is 20 cents. 25 cents. On Wikipedia, it comes from the Aztecs. It comes from South America, and it's known as uh, look the name up in the description. Very popular in this culture. If you want anything in Vietnam and they have a Tok Lao, go rip the Tok Lao, and they'll either give it to you for half the price or invite you to drink with them. crammed in tighter check out our new year's vlog it was literally a stamp it was like gridlock people definitely come here and get a beer when you come here to Hanoi So this is the uh, special fried rice cake that they have for Tet Holiday, which is basically Vietnamese New Year. Describe it. What's it taste for? Um, it's just sticky rice. Yeah, sticky rice, but no, no cilantro. Okay. That's no. Nope. You don't like cilantro, huh? No. Why would you eat this? This tastes terrible. chicken feet the nasty bits reconsider okay <laughs> uh, you're seeing the skin you see the skin off that's all it is I mean, there's, there's no meat. Oh, come on. This chicken needed a manicure. Tastes like chicken. It's definitely not dog meat. I think this one had athlete's foot. If you haven't seen, I have a very popular video in Saigon. It's called Saigon Bazaar Foods Tour. And we eat chicken feet. 
with my good boy Ashir, and it's very popular. And uh, it's basically eating chicken wings, but none of the meat, all the skin. You know, that's in other cultures other than America, they eat the whole animal. My strong hand. We're kind of just sucking the seasoning on, getting those little crispy bits. It's the tits. You've never tried it? And I don't ever want to try it. So Why? we we, we have a we we're we so afraid of it. It's, it's just chicken. No, it looks just, weird. No, I know it looks oh weird. my god. No, no we no we have okay. We have a Hanoi local. Yeah, come and on. He's never had it. They would be proud of you if you just tried just little. Just one bite. Yeah. <laughs> it's got flavor, right? What this is, Mitchell, is a fried banana wrapped in sticky rice, grilled on the grill, topped with coconut, sweet, okay, tapioca-like stuff, topped with peanuts and shredded coconut. This could be the number one best street food in the area. What is that? Is that a Twinkie? <laughs> Reminds me of it's like, a, it's like the best version of a banana pancake flavor you could ever imagine. Oh my god! Yeah, it's orgasmic, right? <laughs> and by the way, I forgot to mention this, but Brandon is actually one of my original subscribers. Like long time subscriber and he finally made it out and we're hanging out and he said one of his favorite things about watching was being able to relate to all the good food that I'm eating and now he's on the camera in the box in the doing screen it. doing it living out dreams baby it's so dope it's like it's everything you want yeah. out of a dessert yeah. everything you want yeah exactly yeah it's everything you want in dessert can I have can I ask you a question yeah yeah YouTube yeah, it's funny to train it. I'll show you. It's a very satisfying dessert. You eat it, you feel like you had a dessert. It's got all the flavors, it's got all the textures. Maybe one of my top five favorite desserts in all of Asia. Yeah, for sure. I agree. Come here. I want some Rice Krispies in, in a bowl right now. I would like pour this in a bowl of Rice Krispies and just eat it all day. Wow, that would be sugary sugar. But it's good. They say it's uh, good for you. It's like it's a plant. It's got antioxidants. It's it's pure pure juice. That is so good. Yeah, I know, right? It's freaking refreshing. Wow. I, I feel I feel like this would be way better for you than Gatorade. Like you do half this, half Gatorade, or yeah. this, half lemon juice? Yeah. I feel like, yeah, like that, and then maybe some uh, coconut water. Yeah, it's similar to coconut water, kind of. I love coconut sweet. water. 
I'm gonna try some. This is my first nook mia on this trip. But let's put it this way. Parker knew how to say nook mia. That's how often we got it. Nook mia. So welcome back. Uh, I want to get high on pot news and some sweet potato. Yo, are you? Yo, go ahead and peel into that black skin, and you'll get the nice gingery orange color in the middle. No joke. You know what they say about that? Sorry, sorry. The blacker the berry, the sweeter the juice. That is true with sweet potatoes, and it's just, I mean, have you ever had a yam or a sweet potato, whatever this is? Less than a buck, and you got the caramelized, the caramelized pieces on there, you know what I'm saying, foodies? Midnight snack, you got the drunk munchies, you're coming home. Don't sleep on this, people. Don't be afraid, all right? Thanks for being with us. One of my favorite parts about Vietnam and why you are going to love Vietnam is because the street food, man. It's like, this is Vietnam right here on this corner. Grandma cooking some bomb meat skewers, cooking some sweet potatoes, some corn right here on the corner, cooking that crack. The street food style. Thank you. Tons of other videos that you should watch next in the description from Brandon's channel, Mrs. channel. Oh.